Hello. I know I haven't made a video in a while, but I had this really, really cool dream. Uh, it's, I don't know, it's what you will of what is preferable of the whole, um, I'm getting parts back to me or the, the timelines that are in the higher dimension or what, what timelines are coming to me and I need to heal them and release them or whatnot by remembering them. Um, but my dream was, is, I was in my room with my brother, my younger brother, and my dad came in. And he was like, what are you doing? And da da da. And I, I, I was talking. I just talked to him and I said, this is what I'm doing. And, da, da. and he didn't like what I was said. So he was like, okay, you're done. And he went to go like hit me or something like that. I was like, you know, I'm done. I'm done. Like he had the dog ball or whatever. I think he wanted to say that I should feed the dog or something like that. And I never did it or something like that. Um, and then like, I was like, no, I'm done. You don't, you don't do that. I'm done. I'm leaving. And then I was and then I was like, you know what? I apologize. I was going to say I apologize or something like that. Because I was going to go back to him. And then I had this big CD case. It was like really cool. I had like a bunch of mirrors around it. But I was like, okay, you know what? No, I'm done. That's it. He was like, you know what? You are. You are done. Get out. Okay, it's time for you to be like a real man or something like that. And he was like, take the dog. And so I picked up the dog and I went downstairs and uh, he had a gun and I was like, I was feeling like, I hope you're not going to have me kill the dog. And wait, before that, my mom um, ran to me before I went down the stairs and hugged me and said, I am so glad that you're, you're taking the change, that you're meant for this change. And then I went downstairs and it was like the living room on the right or on the left in the kitchen on the left on the right and it was my mom, my old my older sister and my brother. And then my dad came down the stairs and I had this feeling like Wait, I hope you're not going to have me kill the dog. And he had a gun, and that's what he said. I'm going to have you kill the dog. And I was like, what? Are you going to have me kill the ferret, too? And the dad didn't really talk to me. He acted like I wasn't there. He started talking to um, my mom, and or facing them, at least, and said, No, the well, the boy's going to lose his dog. He's got to have something, right? And... I, then I hugged the mom, and I was kind of like in tears, and then I hugged the sister, before I did, she was like, you can't do that, it's, she's all you got, and then I, I really was crying, and I was like, I know, but I hugged my sister, and, um, that house made me think of, like, my other house that I used to live in, and then my sister, if you ever seen, um, Nine, the little doll characters, that crazy person, or that one that's supposed to represent the crazy person, um, the way when he reached out, when, um, one of the parts I reached out, it was on his knees. That's what that made me think of, of her. Um, and I hugged her, and I was like, give me a real hug, because she really didn't do that. And I gave her, like, a hug, hug, and she finally did. And then my dad went upstairs or something like that, and the door was open, so I started running with the dog. And, um... I, um, mm, ran, 
I ran into this one part that was, um, like I, that was like a, like where I had a bear, and it was a big bear, and I got it too. And then I ran to like this river, and I went left, and it went into like the city. And I was running and running, I seen this one car, and Mr. and my dog ran in front of me. And like to run fast, like you gotta run faster. And like I felt the difference of me running and then me just kind of like slowing down running. Not that I was tired, it just that's kind of what happened. And then I seen this one car and I was like, oh, I gotta go, I gotta run faster. I gotta get in front of it. I don't know why, but I just had to, so I did. And then we were, me, the dog, the dog, the bear, and me. We're on in the street, on the road, in like the city, and we got picked up by this like helicopter thing where it got I got scooped up in a seat, and the two of them got like scooped up on this um like treadmill kind of a thing, and then we were buckled up, and the bear was like, oh no, and it stopped the treadmill things from going because it was like pick, assisting us to get picked up, and by the time we realized where we were. How like above how high we were are, and what we were above we were by the river, and then we were inside. And I heard somebody coming, and I was like, "Okay, well, I jumped, and I took the animals with me." Well, I don't really, I don't ever see the dog after that until the end. But me and the bear landed in the river and I was swimming and then I was swimming and then there was this guy he came up to me in the river like going the other way and he like had a stick and I almost didn't take it but then I then I took it and then there was these snakes in the water so I like take the stick and um flip the snakes out of my way or like propel them in the air and um then I want to say I ran to a city another city part like a road and I was running and this bear is still with me and um, I ran around this cul-de-sac kind of a thing before I went to this house this car was kind of following me too and so then I, not, I didn't run into the house I ran into like the garage part and it didn't have really a fence it kept going but it was on it led to like these um, like foam stuff like a big mountain of it and I hid there, and I was like, on the top layer, I was like, oh no, this, he might see me, he might step on me and get me. And so, I was like, but I can't move, I've been here so long, you might see me. And I was like, you know, I'm just going to do it. And so I did it. Know it? I ran back to the house. And I saw my mom my and my sister out there and um then I seen him I was like okay well he can't come in if we shut everything like it was like the yard is separate like a different dimension or something like that and if we shut all the doors and stuff like that and I was on the top of the roof and instead of shutting the door or going through the door I um jumped down and went through the wall like I tore a hole in the wall and then I went upstairs and I shut all the stuff like I went into my um, sister's room my big sister's room and then I before I went to that room it was um the the walls and the started connecting like they weren't there until I got there and um, I shut the d window through the blinds um, 
on the left side of her bed, on the opposite side of the door. And then I went out, I went to another room, which is my brother's room. I wanted to say my sister's room, but I really don't recall a sister. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Um, but it had to be because that's what I felt. Um, because I didn't really see my brother around after that. I went into that room and I shut the windows above the bed. And then I went to these, another room. It was like... A closet or something like that. And I shut all the vents and then I hid, hid there. Like there was these little halls like vents or something like that. And I shut them. And then he was there. And then... I hid there, and then, um, I see myself running outside, going, like, the same way that I did before, into, like, these, the, like, these people's houses, and, um, like I, like I said before, I ran around this cul-de-sac, and this car was gonna get, follow me and whatnot. And so, I ran through the, like, the garage part, or the carport, and kept going, and there's these fluffy things, like foam stuff, and, um, I hid in them, like, the top layer, and I was like, I can't stay here, because it was a top layer, and he might step on me, know that I'm there, and, but I was there for so long that, then I took off regardless. And I seen somebody coming, and then I seen, like, a bear come out. And then I was going and going and going, and then I went to the, came to the river, and I took right this time. And, um, I, there was this guy. He was like, he was like, hey, what's up, how are you doing, and so like that. And then it was starting raining, and it was red. And I was like, you're red. And, um, he was like, wow, I am. It, it doesn't feel good. And then... I was like, oh, wow, what's going on? Like, like I jumped in the river, thinking that was the best thing to do. And then I realized the river was red. And, um, I was like, oh, no, it was from him. He changed the color of the river. And then I seen him. And he had, sh like, he had a gun, so he still wanted, he really wanted to get me. So I took a couple of breaths, and I dove, dove underwater. I came to this thing, it was like a bridge, and you couldn't pass under the bridge, or you could, or I don't know, because it was just a solid piece of thing, like a dam kind of thing, and he was there, but he didn't want to shoot me, he was just saying a whole bunch of stuff like, but it was a woman this time, and then he said a whole bunch of stuff, and then, like, I disappeared, but then my sight went to these people. Like, they were in the river, but it was, like, a black SUV, white sh shirts, and, like, darker suits with sunglasses. Um, and I was like, no, that's not true. And they were like, no, that's not true. Like, they had her on the phone. And they set, heard that from me. And then they realized where I was. And so did that person, or the man, because it turned into a man now. And then my mom, before that, before they realized where I was, um, was there. And she was going to say that, like, stop him and whatnot. But she couldn't do it. Um, and then they had the... They had the, um, the, like, person on top of the bridge come down and attempt to get the guy, but he got knocked to the water because he, he kind of knew they were coming, and I was in the water, and not where he was, but, like, where the bridge connected the land, I was attempting to get up, and he was able to get to me. Because, like, he turned into, like, this other life form. Like, like long arms, like an octopus kind of thing. And the other guy that was on the bridge on top came down. 
and was holding on to me. And the the somebody got the guy that the other life form, the octopus guy, and um, I got pulled out of the river area. And then I seen my bear and my dog. And then like I had this whole notion of the dog is my mom, and the bear is my dad. Like, like I know I jump parts or mix them up or whatnot, but I remember the whole thing. And it literally was like I was there. Like, it was like I was there and I was doing them. Doing this. And then, um, I came to the whole thing where the idea of it, um, because somebody assisted me, of it being like, that was your timeline, and, um, you ought to do it to heal yourself or whatnot. Well, that was pretty much the dream. Life experience and whatnot. Um, but be blessed. Be amazing. And, like, if you do have, like, it's a dream and you want to do it, or ha still have it or whatnot, a tip to, you know? You still are having it, just because you really don't recall it doesn't mean you're not having it. But, um, like, I meditated before I went to bed and whatnot. And it was like, it was in the morning, morning. Like, four, five-ish. And I was like, okay, I gotta go to bed, but I meditated. And then I had my alarm set for like seven nine ten and I woke up at ten and then I meditated again for like two hours or an hour and a half or something like that and then I laid back down because well I didn't get enough sleep I needed more sleep or whatever my body I could feel it or at least I was gonna need to take a nap during the day and or just be like really really tired before when I was gonna go to bed um, but then I did that meditation, and it was a lot. Like, I don't know if you guys do meditations or whatnot, but energy work is, it's a workout. If you're not, like, charged enough or, um, have enough energy, you're, like, needing to recharge. You're not gonna, like, go away and do, be nothing. You're gonna still be there, but you're gonna be, like, going slower and just be tired and, like, whoa... Um, and so I laid back down, and then I had the, had this dream, and I kept waking up because my alarm, but I kept putting on a snooze, and I kept having more and more of the dream, and it ended up like being like three before I woke up, and like it, like, <laughs> like I, like I'm attempting to really stay in the new paradigm where like. The old doesn't. The old doesn't matter, or it does matter, but it's not here. It's not really applying anymore. Or you don't need a job and stuff like that. But I'm just humoring the people I'm living with. Um, okay, now I'm gonna get, now I'm gonna go and get a job or whatnot. But really, I don't I don't know if I'm gonna get one or not. Like I don't know if I meant to. I don't think I meant to anymore to have that kind of lifestyle, to, to fully focus on me being in. The new paradigm, because like, if you focus, like, if you attempt to be in, like, have a foot in both worlds, you're not. You're gonna have one, be in one world more than the other, and that's okay. But you really, it's really now. You really need to step into which one you want. No matter what, you got to step into which one you want. But I'm going to go be beautiful, um, be amazing, be blessed because you are blessed, be blissful because you're blessed. I love you.